Now that we're knee deep in holidays, there's a really good chance you're with friends and family. How's that going for you? When we're with friends and family, we can often start emotionally outsourcing. And emotional outsourcing leads directly to emotional eating. Here's what I mean by that. If the kids would just stop bickering, I wouldn't be so stressed, so I wouldn't need all the crisps. If Uncle John would just stop being so sarcastic, I wouldn't feel so mad and I wouldn't need to eat the Christmas chocolate. If my partner would just help me in the kitchen, I'd feel more supported and I wouldn't need to eat all the lollies. You get the idea, right? Emotional outsourcing is when we need other people to act in a certain way before we allow ourselves permission to feel good. And here's the truth. We have zero control over other people. Not Uncle Bob, not the kids, not our partner. The only person we have control over is ourselves. But by waiting for them to change their behavior before we feel good, it's a way of us giving away our power and we're abdicating our own sense of self-responsibility to feel good now. We're giving control to other people now you probably already on an intuitive level know how frustrating and ineffective it is to try and change other people. The only person you can control is yourself. Breathe deeply. Come back to you, girlfriend. You've got this. And I get it. This takes practice. It goes against so much of the conditioning that we women receive. But you've got it. The only person you can control is yourself. If you're ready to dive deeper into how you can reset your eating habits, you might like to know that Lighten Up, my online six week virtual gastric band program, opens shortly. Why not pop on over, put your name on the wait list so that you will be informed when the doors open. Otherwise, I'll see you next week with another Making Peace with Food tip.